case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia in 2006 deliberated a key issue concerning the Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination in the case of United States via Pons. The accused, Navron Pons, found himself entangled in charges of tax evasion and fraud. From the outset, the case hinged heavily on the principle that a witness can refuse to constitute evidence or respond to inquiries they may perceive as self-incriminatory. Once engaged, the government must offer immunity from use and derivative use of testimony to preserve the witness's cooperation. However, Pond's rights were considered violated when the government used his self-incriminating testimony and derived evidence obtained under an immunity grant. The plot thickened with questions over whether the act of Pond's document submission could be classified as testimonial or just a surrender. In rendering its verdict, the court leaned towards acknowledging Pond's act of document production as a testimonial, concluding that it infringed upon his right against self-incrimination. The conviction was overturned casting serious doubt on the government's behavior in maintaining the immunity agreement. Although it was clear that there had been some violation of the immunity agreement on the part of the government, the extent and implications of this breach required in-depth scrutiny. As a result, the case was remanded to the district court for further inspection. In a significant decision, the court reversed the conviction emphasizing the critical role of upholding the federal witness immunity and Fifth Amendment self-incrimination protection. This case underlined the necessity of ensuring fair play in the pursuit of justice, throwing light on the challenging dynamics between personal rights and state authority. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.